welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as a deep prediction of chronic kidney disease by employing machine learning method which is an ieee 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. This chronic kidney disease is shortly known as CKD. Basically, this CKD symptoms develop slowly only and also they are not specific to the disease. Some people may have no symptoms also on this CKD. So now due to the change in the food and the lifestyle, this chronic kidney disease is making something worse the situation in the human life so the only way is yearly detection of ckd to be predicted by the chronic kidney disease so now doctors are using the machine learning classifier algorithms to identify the disease yearly than any other existing method so now in the base paper these authors have proposed various algorithms like extra decision tree classifier ADA boost K nearest neighbors gradient boosting extreme gradient boosting decision tree Gaussian navy means and random forest but we are not going to use any of these algorithms so as our proposed we will be using artificial neural network ANN so our proposed algorithm or model is ANN and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 90 percentage and the validation accuracy that we have achieved is 97 percentage so already in our project list on the channel you have seen about the chronic kidney disease we have two different projects that we have developed using SVM and logistic regression also so to vary and to propose a new model we have done using this artificial neural network model now let us see the data set so this is the data set part which consists around 26 attributes like id age bp sgal su or pc so you can see this and let me scroll down so this is the data set that we are going to train up the model And kindly make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements folder before execution of the project by installing the exact version the libraries now let me go to the execution part so first copy the source code location go to your command prompt go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter now after some time you can see this url just copy this url go to any of your browser and go into the firefox and paste this url and now you can see the home screen of the project with the project title a deep prediction of chronic kidney disease by employing machine learning method now just click this login menu and it will be navigated to the login page and kindly note that this project we have not used any database so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin in this username and password box and then click the login button and once the login is successful click ok and it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set so just go to the project folder and where you can find the upload.csv file just select it and then click upload and now it will be navigated to the preview part where you can see the data set that I have shown you earlier and scroll down till the end of the page where you can see the complete data set is being loaded into the preview part of the project and now the end of the screen you can see the click to train button just click this train click to train or test button And after 
few seconds you can see training finish message just click this training finished ok button and now it will be navigated to the prediction part so in the prediction part you can see few attributes so earlier we have trained up with around 26 attributes and now we'll be entering about uh, 18 attributes and let me show you few, few cases the prediction of part the first case let me enter the age as 48 blood pressure as 80 albm as 1 sugar as 0 red blood cells as normal and PSL as normal PSL clams is not present and bacteria not present blood glucose random is 121 blood urea is 36 cerium keratinine is 1.2 potassium is 4.627 Two four three five nine. White blood cell count is seven thousand eight hundred. Hypertension is yes. Diabetes mellitus is yes. And coronary artery disease is no. And pedal edema is no. Anemia is no. So now let us check the prediction result for this case so click the prediction button so now you can see the prediction result is abnormal which is that the case of CKD now let me click this prediction button again to enter some different case so now let me enter the age as 58 blood pressure as 80 Albium is zero, sugar is zero, and red blood cells is normal, PS cells is normal, PS cell claims is not present, bacteria is not present, blood glucose random is 131 blood urea is 18 serum creatine is 1.1 potassium value is 3.5 white blood cell count is 6800 hypertension no diabetes mellitus no coronary artery disease no Pedal edema no anemia no so now let me check the prediction result for this so the prediction result is abnormal and let me go to the prediction part again so now let me enter a different case Now let me check the prediction result for this case and click the prediction button and now you can see the prediction result is abnormal. So now I have entered uh, other case of with these values now let me check the prediction result of it and the prediction result is normal. So for few samples i have shown you with the few cases from the data set test data so you can check with the other cases from the test data or from the data set that we have trained up with so now let me navigate to the performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part we'll be seeing about the performance analysis parameters like recall f1 and precision value so here you can see the recall f1 and precision values for the normal and abnormal and also you can see the confusion matrix of it for the predicted class of 1 and 0 and now let me navigate to the final part that is chart part and as I said earlier this is a static chart because we are not using data set database in the project so here in the chart part the chart is being depicted from the data set that we have trained up with so the data set consists of around 60 
percentage of normal cases and 40 percentage of abnormal cases which is being depicted in this chat part and now let me log out and this is all about the project a deep prediction of chronic kidney disease by employing machine learning method and thank you all for watching